What else do I need to know? What can I do to make a difference in my community? The goal of this presentation isn't to make you an expert on domestic violence. It is to familiarize you with the issues involved so that you can feel comfortable approaching someone you are concerned is being abused or be helpful when they might open up to you. The most important thing you can do is recognize the signs of abuse, respond with emotional support and reassurance, and provide critical referrals to experts who can help. 71% of victims tell someone about the abuse. If you believe someone is a victim of domestic violence, reach out to her by asking what she needs. Just knowing someone cares makes all the difference in the world. Anyone, including you, can provide the support and refer them to resources for help. Your relationship to her, whether she's your sister, mother, aunt, neighbor, friend, co-worker, or customer, will determine how you broach the subject with her. Don't be afraid to talk about your concerns or to offer help. You might just save her life. Be aware that victims sometimes are embarrassed, ashamed, or afraid to open up. They're not sure what can be done to make the abuser stop, and they are afraid people won't believe them. And when the whole world is silent, and you're the only one, it sends its message that he's right. And to have a neighbor just call the police. I mean, I, don't, I just can't believe my neighbors didn't call the police as loud as, we, as he got, stomping around and throwing me around. You would think they'd call the police, but nobody did. And so it was like I lived in this non-reality. No one else is seeing it. I mean, it must not be happening. If the abuse is recent, she may deny or minimize it. If it has been longer term, she may be ready to live violence-free and not know how to get started. When approaching her, be prepared and plan what you're going to say carefully. Don't force her to talk if she isn't ready. And when she is ready, allow her to explain at her own pace. Here are some things you can say that show your support and desire to be helpful. I'm afraid for your safety. I'm afraid for your children's safety. It will only get worse. I'm here for you. No one deserves to be abused. Here are some steps you can take. Approach the subject in a non-blaming way. Tell her she's not alone and that she is courageous to talk about her experience. Acknowledge that it is scary and difficult to talk about domestic violence. Ask instead of telling. I have plenty of time. Whatever you want to talk about, I'm here for you. What would you like to happen? What is it like for you? What do you need? Don't tell her what to do. Listen instead of talking. I won't tell anybody what you tell me unless you want me to or we decide it would be helpful. Be prepared for anything. A short, unrevealing answer or the floodgates opening. She could deny she needs help or recite a full-blown list of immediate needs. Take it slow and break it down into manageable steps. If she's reluctant to or won't confide in you, don't be afraid to try again. Be aware of the resources in your community and help her obtain the information she needs to make decisions. Call a local domestic violence organization and ask questions that she may have. For example, what housing options are available? How can she get a protection order? Will she be able to get training or can someone help her find a job? What will the police do if she calls? How does she put together a safety plan? The Helping Her Be Safe section of this CD provides additional information for victims. When I talk to battered women, they actually say that the thing that was most helpful to them was somebody approaching them or broaching the subject, that they felt so ashamed and so humiliated and so isolated that they didn't feel safe to bring it up. Here are some things to keep in mind. Believe the victim. Respect her choices. Empathize with her emotional strain, stress, and disappointment. Acknowledge the difficulty of her situation. React to what she tells you with compassion. Be an active listener by responding to her. But avoid anger, 
disappointment, or judgments. And always remember, you must protect her privacy and her safety by keeping what she says to you to yourself. In order to help her and offer her support, she must trust you. You can be the vital link to saving lives just by recognizing the problem and knowing how to connect the victim to services and experts who can provide assistance.